Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the part three homework review. And so this homework review is built to help you with the part three worksheet and it's built around the same skills that the part three section of notes um, introduced. And so in this uh, part three homework review, remember again, it's linked directly to the, to the part three worksheet. So we're gonna go through problem 1C, 1D, and two. And it's all about looking at the um, equation A squared plus b squared, and then also c squared separately. Remember, and we're thinking, hey, are these equal? Are, is c squared greater than or is c squared less than? And depending on what the outcome is, we can determine if these shapes are going to, or if these triangles are acute triangles, obtuse triangles, or right triangles. And so let's just get to it. Um, let's work through these problems. Remember, once again, they are linked directly to the same problems on the part three worksheet. And so really the key here is we need to know which uh, number is going to be C in our Pythagorean theorem equation. And that's always going to be the biggest number. And so we really need to know kind of a better information for what the square root of 13 is. Looks like the square root of 13 is roughly 3.6. So 7 is the biggest. So 7 is C. So let's square 7 by itself. And let's square the other two separately and add them together. So 7 squared, and we'll see how that compares to square root of 13 squared plus 6 squared. 7 squared is 49. Square root of 13 squared is just 13. And 6 squared is 36. And so we still have 49 on the left. 13 plus 36 is also 49. And so in this particular problem, 49 equals 49. And when they equal each other, what we have is a right triangle. Perfect. So let's do that again, but with another set of numbers. We're moving on to 1D. So here it's a little bit more obvious. 14C, 14 is bigger than 11 and 10. Let's do 14 squared, and we'll square and add the other two. 14 squared um, is going to be, give me one sec here. 14 squared is 196. And then 10 squared is 100, and 11 squared is 121. And so 196, we'll add 121 together. That'll give us 221. And so what we see is 196 is less than 221. And when we have a less than situation, we have an acute triangle. All right, perfect. And so that's the basic idea for all the problems, including number two here. But we just have to do a little bit more work to be able to get our side lengths. And here's what I mean by our side lengths. Um, we have these dots on our graph over here. And if we connect the dots, since there's three dots, there's going to be three sides giving us a triangle. And so if we can figure out how long all three sides are, we can square C and square A and B together and compare and see if it's right, acute, or obtuse. But we don't know the length of the sides. So that's where we have to start in this problem. And we start trying to figure that out by actually making more triangles on each side. So if we connect each dot, but we're going straight horizontal, so that's side to side, and straight vertical, which is up and down, right? we create a triangle with one of our sides. And the side length we want to figure out is always going to be C because it's across from our 90 degree angle. And we actually know the other two dashed um, line side lengths because we can just count boxes side to side and up and down. And so the top piece is one, two, three units long. And the left side is one, two, three, four, five, six units long. And so if we want to figure out how long the side from P to R is, that's where I've labeled C right now. We want to do six squared plus three squared. And again, that's gonna equal our C squared. And so our C is really side PR squared in this one. Now we've done a ton of work about squaring things, adding them together and square rooting them. So I'm gonna kind of skip that step here. And I'm just gonna go straight to what PR itself equals. Now, if you wanna kind of get a, a feel for that process, I'm going to verbally say it here. So PR squared, so that's over here, is going to equal 6 squared plus 3 squared, right? 6 squared is 36. 3 squared is 9. 36 plus 9 is 44. 
And so then we are going to take the square root of 44, and that's going to tell us that PR is 6.7. I hope you followed along. Again, I, I did not do anything differently in this problem than I've done on all the other a squared plus b squared equals c squared problems. And so I think um, hopefully that still makes a lot of sense for you. All right, so PR 6.7. But now we have to find side PQ and side RQ. So let's do PQ next. PQ is the side connecting P to Q. So let's make a dash triangle on that side. And the top of PQ looks like it's eight units long. The right side is four units down. Remember, our C is going to be across from where our 90 degree angle is. So side PQ is what we're going to get if we do eight squared plus four squared. And again, that'll equal PQ squared. Now, same deal as before. I'm just going to go straight to what PQ is. We're squaring eight, we're squaring four, we're adding them together, and we're square rooting them. And so that's going to tell us that PQ is 8.9. All right. And let's do the same thing down here for RQ. Make our dash triangle. Right side is 2. Bottom side's kind of long. Looks like 11 units. And so the PQ is once again our C side. Or RQ, I'm sorry. RQ is the C side. And so this time we'll use the 2 and 11. 2 squared plus 11 squared that's going to equal our RQ squared. So squaring 2, squaring 11, adding them together and square rooting them tells us that side RQ is going to be 11.2 units long. So now we've got all of the sides we need. And I'm going to add, I'm going to clean up our pictures over here and add those numbers to our side lengths. Oops. That's not so good. Get rid of these C's and then I'm going to reconnect the dots. All right, so here we go. Now, from R to Q, we just saw that's 11.2. From P to Q, that's 8.9. And from P to R, that's 6.7. So there's our actual side lengths. Remember, now we want to decide if it is right, acute, or obtuse. So we need to pick the biggest one. We'll call that C. That's 11.2. So we'll square that by itself. And then we'll square the other two and add them together. So 6.7 squared plus 8.9 squared. And let's see what we get when we do all this. 11.2, um, if we don't round it before we square it, is going to come up to 125. And then same deal with 6.7 and 8.9. Try not to round them. If we square both of those numbers, we actually get 125 as well. 125 is equal to 125. So when they are equal, we have a right triangle. Awesome. So that's a ton of Pythagorean theorem stuff. We have gotten all the way through our target 15, which totally deals with Pythagorean theorem and the converse, right? And the converse is deciding if things are right, acute, or obtuse. Um, and so tomorrow we'll move into target 16, which is going to be a different skill relating to um, right triangles or just triangles in general. So thank you very much. Hope this has helped. I will see you tomorrow.